After the Soviet Union launched the first satellite into space in 1957, the military competition extended into space. Since then, the military functions of satellites have been continuously improved, and plans for space weapons have been brewing. It is unclear how many types of space weapons have been developed, but one thing is certain, space cannons exist. The Soviet Union's Shield 1-R23M is one of the early models, and it remains highly classified to this day. In the 1960s, the Soviet Union decided to develop space cannons. Of course, these weapons were not designed to attack ground targets, as that was not technologically feasible at the time. Their true purpose was to counter other countries' satellites. The space cannon system, Shield 1, was not intended for ordinary satellites. It was designed for larger space stations. According to the known declassified information, it was paired with the Soviet Gift Cannon series of space stations, which could be operated by astronauts to attack targets within a certain distance. The artillery used in this weapon system was not a top-secret weapon developed independently. It was actually an improvement of the R-23 aircraft cannon. The R-23 was a cannon designed by the Soviet Union in the late 1950s for high-altitude, high-speed aircraft. It had the fastest rate of fire of any single-barrel cannon in history, reaching up to 2,600 rounds per minute. It was put into use in 1964 and was installed on the tail turret of the 222. The specific principles behind its space version are currently unclear, as there are no detailed declassified documents. Only Russia has briefly shown a blurry video of it on a television program. Based on this video, many people have created some renderings that roughly depict the appearance of this secret weapon. The development of this weapon was carried out by the KB Tokmash Design Bureau. According to leaked information, the caliber of this weapon was changed to 14.5 mm, and its weight was controlled at 37 pounds. It was a high-speed cannon that fired 200 gram ammunition. Some people who participated in the project claimed that it had penetrated a metal gasoline can one mile away during ground tests. Although it paled in comparison to conventional ground weapons, in the vacuum environment of space, combined with the fact that satellites themselves are not as sturdy as tanks, being hit by one cannonball would render them essentially useless. In the mid to late 1960s, the space cannon program was initially not favored by the Soviet leadership. The reason was that the Soviet Union was fully committed to the competition for space stations. According to intelligence reports, the Soviet Union was at risk of losing its first title if it did not put in more effort. As a result, the space cannon program was slowed down. It was not until May 1973, when the Gift Cannon Space Station No. 3 was launched, that it was revealed to be the first space station to be equipped with a space cannon, according to later declassified information. Using it was not easy, it required rotating the 20-ton space station to adjust the cannon's direction and then aiming at the target. Considering that the recoil of the cannon could have unpredictable effects on the space station, it was actually operated remotely after all the astronauts had evacuated. The specific results of the tests are unknown, but it is said that the space cannon fired more than 20 rounds. Interestingly, the initial orbit of the Gift Cannon Space Station No. 3 was very low, and its operational time was also very short. This led to much speculation, and it now appears to be related to the Space Cannon program. In fact, the biggest problem with weapons like the Soviet Union's Shield 1-R23M Space Cannon is how to deal with recoil. Satellites that are too light cannot carry it, and even larger space stations would be affected by recoil due to the lack of a point of force. Lighter ones would deviate from their orbit, and heavier ones could even cause structural damage. Some Soviet experts proposed equipping space stations with recoil engines, but this would lead to weight increase and other problems, so it was abandoned. As for the future development of space cannons, whether they will continue to be developed or be replaced by other systems is unknown. In fact, space cannons have uses beyond military purposes. For example, when a space station is about to collide with an out-of-control satellite, a space cannon can be used to destroy it instead of using precious fuel to change the orbit. How this double-edged sword of a space cannon will be used in the future can only be conceived by the space powers themselves.